All right, guys, that was a, uh, an embarrassing loss. Um, I don't know how to put it any other way. We're a beat-up team. Uh, we lost three more guys tonight. Um, uh, we don't have much of an identity on offense, which we need to find. And, uh, and if you're looking to point fingers at anybody, point them at me. All right? So I'm to blame. I'm the head coach. I'm also the one responsible, you know, responsible uh, of turning this thing around. Okay? I just told the team in there, uh, we're right where we were last year, whether they want to hear it or not. We're two and three. We lost our first conference game in an embarrassing fashion. And they have two options. They either come together as a team and they fight, or they fracture and split up into small groups and bitch and become losers. I will not allow that to happen. I'm the head coach here, okay? And I'm going to choose the latter. I'm going to fight and do everything I can to try to fix this thing. Uh, I apologize to the minor fans for our performance tonight. And uh, I'm responsible. So if you got any problems with that, uh, point them at me, not the players. You think that there were some issues coming out of all the, the rain delay? I mean, how did nah, it ain't, we don't make excuses like that. We didn't play well. Uh, we didn't generate any offense. Yeah, I mean, we gave up two pick sixes and a, and a safety. I mean, that, that was a telling story. Uh, we, we generated no offense. We have no identity right now. We got to find one. Um, defensively, I actually thought defensively we played pretty darn good. You know, they were, they were put their backs against the wall. Uh, you know, offense gave them 16 points. First five minutes of the second half, was that a big goal It was line of just a complete turnaround. And I thought our guys were energized and, you know, they were focused in the locker room coming out and it snowballed on us. So, again, um, and I ain't saying this is a company line, guys. I'm at fault. I'll get it fixed. And if I don't, I'm a professional. I know the consequences of that. So, uh, I'm going to do everything I can to do that. Uh, don't blame it on the kids. Uh, if you want to blame anything, blame it on me. Anything to put your finger on offensively? To... Hey, Brett, you know, we're beat up, man. You know what I mean? You lose your entire starting backfield, and uh, it's tough It's tough to regroup and just start something. we got a freshman quarterback in there. I told everybody the kid's been playing outstanding. He's a freshman. I knew he was going to have a game like this. I couldn't predict when or where it was going to be, but I knew there was going to be a game like this. Uh, am I mad at the kid? Hell no. He's going to fight back, and he's going to play better next week. He's going to be a hell of a quarterback. So, um, you know, it's, it's just a part of football. And if you've been around as long as I have, you see things like this happen, and you fight through it. Uh, I know the fans and the media, they don't have the patience to do that. I understand that. That's their job. My job is to fix the damn thing. So that's what I'm going to do. Is there a process of figuring out that identity in the next couple of weeks? Yeah, well, fortunately, we got a bye week coming up in a week. we got to get healthy. I mean, we lost three more defenders tonight, Alvin Jones, Calvin Fisher, and Ishmael Harrison. I mean, uh, uh, I'm going to put it just bluntly. We're, we're at bare bones, and, uh, uh, and we're just going to have to fight. I, I can't put it any other way, guys. So I don't have a whole lot to say. Okay? Thank you. Hey, Nick, do you feel like the defense actually played pretty well? We played pretty well tonight. We did our thing, what we were supposed to do, but we lost as a team, so we lost. Is this something you guys can, can build upon and realize you're pretty good as a defense? Yes, sir, no doubt. We just, as a defense, got to bring it together and keep playing like that and let the offense get after too. We got to come at, as a team and do our thing. How you guys speed up front really giving issues early on throughout the rest of the game? Oh, yes, yeah, sir. Most definitely, they couldn't handle the stunts we were doing, so we are getting after the quarterback pretty well. How'd you get that fumble? It looked like he was on it. Um, he jumped on top of it, and I, I hit him, and the ball popped out, and I jumped on it. Where do you guys go from here? All we can do is regroup and come together as a team and play harder every week. We got to do what we do in practice and get better. You were 2-3 last year and got humiliated by Louisiana Tech and then won a bunch of games. Do you think you can do that again? Do you look at that? Yes, sir, I, I feel it. Like I know everybody's hurting right now, and in the locker room right now, you could you can hear a penny drop on the ground. Everybody's devastated because we played, we played how we played, but we just couldn't pull out this week. What was Jarvis Edwards doing in the running back three that just made it kind of you know, get all those yards during those those spurts? Yeah, he's a good running back. He was just bouncing around in the back. He's he's just doing him, and that's what type of running back he is. I don't take nothing from him. He plays he plays pretty good, so. I give him his respect for that. Cool. Thanks a lot. You feel like the defense played pretty well? Yeah, I think, you know, I think we had the best week of practice we've had. I think we came together a lot. And uh, 
especially after coming on the field after two interceptions, being able to stop him both times. You know, I think that was a pretty big deal, and uh, I think we keep him better. You know, if I can bounce back from something like this, I mean, what do you need to do? Just, person. just get the team together. You know, I think everyone has to be on board. You know, especially my senior year. You know, I want to make sure this. You know, we get on this train and we start getting the W's. And uh, you know, it's just getting everybody on the same page and knowing that I'm putting everything I have in this team and knowing that everyone, everyone else can do the same thing. You kind of look at where you guys were last year after that loss to Louisiana Tech. Mm-hmm. You kind of point to that. Yeah, when I mean, we're in the same boat. I mean, two and three, we're 0 and one in the first conference game, and uh, you know, I think we, were, we just got to rally back. You know, we did last year, and I think we have, you know, we have the potential to do it again. It's just frustrating to play that well as a defense and just not have it all up. Yeah, you know, it is, but again, you know, we, we had opportunities to get a, you know, turnover as well. You know, I dropped the interception. You know, we, we, we need to start getting takeaways on defense, start helping our offense out. Cool. Thanks a lot, man. Thank you. That was a little bit of a struggle out there. Oh, yeah, I, uh, I mean, the, <laughs> there's no hiding. <laughs> Excuse me. I mean, there's there's no hiding it. I uh, I mean, I lost this game for us. Um, you know, I, I mean, I, I really don't like losing, but I mean, it's part of the game. And uh, you know, I I'm not gonna listen to what everybody else you know says outside of these walls, uh, of the locker room walls. I mean, every player just came up to me and they said, you know. They still have faith in me. They still love me, and that's all that matters. And uh, you know, it, it, this is a tough one to swallow. You know, I, uh, I didn't, uh, I didn't come in here imagining I was going to throw, you know, four picks and and really, uh, really put us in the bind that we were in. I mean, the defense they played phenomenal. You know, um, the offense, all ten players around me, they played phenomenal. Um, and uh, you know, I just. I forced passes when I shouldn't. I, uh, you know, just made stupid reads, and I mean, it's really what it boils down to. And uh, I mean, I, I, I'll take I take full responsibility for this game. I mean, the coaches put us in, in a, in a, in good spots. You know, good positions. The defense, like I said, they played great. You know, everybody else aligned. They blocked their heart out. Um, I mean, my receivers. I mean, they, I tell you what, on the passes that were completed, they made me look good. Cause, I mean, I, I didn't. I wasn't me today, and that's that's really what it was. Is the most physical game you ever played? Um, no, uh, I mean last week the team was pretty physical, but I mean, you know, hats off to them. You know, they played a great game, and uh, but uh, you know, <laughs> I gotta I gotta put this behind me. You know, if I want to be, a, you know, a leader for these guys. <laughs> I gotta, you know, I gotta put this behind me, and you know, I, I hate the fact that I'm, you know, like this right now in front of you guys, but I mean, this is, I mean, it hits me in the heart. Um, you know, uh, those guys looked up to me, and the, and the coaches looked up to me. You know, uh, they they put their faith in me, and um, you know, I just didn't produce, and that's that's the one thing that that upsets me the most. I mean, the the stats. You know, throwing the four picks, I mean, that, those are just stupid decisions. But when everybody looked up to me and I didn't produce, that, that's the thing that, that hurt me the most. But, um, you know, this game is behind us now. And, uh, like, Coach came up and told me, what's really going to matter is how I face this and how I learn from it. And that's that's really what it's all about. And, um, I mean, this week of practice, I'm going to have to, you know, just go out there and really just be myself. And that that's something that I, I went away from today. You know, I, I wasn't myself and um and uh you know I, I cost this team this team a win. And um, you know there's a it's a long season and that that's something that minor fans should be uh should be happy to you know to hear and it's you know it's just one game that, you know, slipped away from me, slipped away from us and um you know, we still got a long season, and uh, I know it hurts right now, but I think we'll be fine. We're gonna have to, you know, we're gonna have a good week of practice this week. You know, um, 
these guys, they're, they're going to rally around me. And that's, that's the most awesome thing in the world, you know, knowing that, that I didn't have the best game of my life. And, um, you know, these guys are going to come around me and they're going to support me. And the coaches, you know, still got faith in me. And, you know, going forward, we just got to just got to keep working. And that's really all it is, you know. Um, you know, uh, sometimes you have, you know, these types of situations in your life. And it really, uh, um, this is where your character shows. You know, what you do when you're down. And, uh, you know, sometimes God, he, uh, he lets you know what it's like to be at the bottom because he knows that that's, that's a person holding you up, you know. And uh, going forward, you know, I still have all the faith in the world that, that God's going to, you know, put us in a position to win. You know, I mean, we still got seven games, you know. And there's nothing saying that we can't go on to, uh, to still play in a conference championship game. And uh, that, that's still the goal. That's still the goal. And the goal is still to go to a bowl game and win. And nothing's changed. You know, this is a, a minor setback for a major bounce back. And that, that's what this really is. Okay, thank you guys.